and I value that time just getting to know Vivian. And um, I can just say that I'm a better person. I'm better than I was on yesterday. And a lot of times people see me now, they see you know the weight loss and things like that. And that's because I've been able to walk in the, in the area of forgiveness. And so I, he, God did a 183, whatever you want to call it. He did it on me, but he did it on the inside out. And so a lot of times people look at me and it's like, yeah, man, you look so good. And I always tell them I feel much better than I look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then a long time really means a lot. So yeah. if you're single, take that time to get to know you. Because we're always trying to connect and trying to, we're trying to be married. We want, we want someone. But work on yourself. And work on those things that you want your mate to bring to the table. Work on those things for yourself. Well, from a married um, perspective, I, I like the fact that um, my wife has grown, you know, seeing those areas and myself, seeing those areas where she she was and where she is now. Um, that's the beauty of our relationship. You know, we're both growing and you have to give your, your mate that opportunity to do it. I mean, you have to know that we've been together for 20 years. OK, I'm not like I was when I was 17. Yeah. You know, I'm almost 40. So you know, she's given me that opportunity to grow and vice versa. I'm giving her an opportunity to grow. And that's the beautiful thing about marriage. You get an opportunity to see that person come from a young lady or a young man to, you know, a man or a young lady. And that's that's the part that I'm, I'm really enjoying. <coughs> the part that I enjoy is you got to give your spouse that room to grow. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm not the same person I was uh, 20 years ago. And I was God bless y'all. Good night. Uh, when I was 17. No. <laughs> the part I enjoy about marriage the most is I can be myself in front of my wife and not be judged. I can be silly. I can be serious. I can be crazy. I can be weak, I can be strong, I can be whatever, and she will cover me. And she covers me so much, and she covers me so often, that um, it, it, it's like we, we are constantly becoming one. We're always becoming, I learned that from my bishop. My, my bishop taught me that we're always to becoming one. And don't get stale and complacent with your spouse and think you know you know them. Because for years, I didn't know that my wife didn't like making pancakes. <laughs> I, I, I didn't. I would always say, why don't you make pancakes, make breakfast or something like that. But I learned that she didn't like making pancakes. So I started making pancakes, started making breakfast. And now I've been doing it for 30 years. <laughs> but uh, I'm not the same person I used to be. <laughs> I love the fact that she, she allows me to be me. That's the beauty of marriage. You have to allow your spouse to be who they are. Because I, I told him one time, I think we, we had, we had uh, gone through a situation, and I told him one time, I said, babe, if you don't allow me to be me, I don't know who I'm gonna be. Because I, 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 I'll transform to whoever's the closest person to me, but I need to be me. And in your relationship, you need to allow your spouse to be who they are, and don't try to make them conform to your interpretation of who a good man or that's the person you marry. Right. That's good. So allow them to be themselves and don't be jealous when other people like the fact that they're themselves. And you, you gotta trust your spouse in that. I, I think I'm done. <laughs> Did I ask for the mic? No. <laughs>